and we're taking t derivative of 10y so we're going to take the derivative of the entire equation of x and we're going to use the chain rule and because the vari variable don't match we're going to use the chain rule and derivative of 10 is secant square y and then times the derivative of inside which is y prime and d dx of x equals 1 okay so if we solve for y prime which is the derivative equals 1 over secant squared y which equals cosine squared y and then our interval is negative pi half greater than less than pi half there's another way to do this if we just take secant square y out y by the Pythagorean identity, we know that secant squ squared yes, secant squared y equals ten squared y plus one. Which equals And then you're substituting our original equation is 10y equals x and if we substitute 10y for x we can tell that secant squared y equals x squared plus 1 and then if we substitute back to, back to here that it will make y y prime equals 1 over x squared plus 1. I don't like your x. <laughs> you Shut like up, Ginny. <laughs> <laughs> don't 